Hey, what's up, man? Thanks for joining me. No, thank you for your time. Sure, for sure. My pleasure. Let me make sure this thing... All right, I'm going to record this so this is cool with you. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Awesome. Dope, man. So uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, let's figure out how I can help you. Yeah, so I guess I started videoing seriously in October mm -hmm. uh, in Anchorage, Alaska. And then uh, I started... I was really working under a guy who does a lot of like real estate stuff and um, he goes, he goes by, uh, he goes by Chitty and he helped me out a bunch. Uh, and then like around, I just was starting to build like my reputation, I guess, as like someone who does video. Uh, I started doing like marketing content for my school's uh, women's basketball team, uh, U University of Alaska Anchorage. And then around like March, I started getting like, I stopped having to reach out as much and people started like to reach out to me. Nice. And then coronavirus happened. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then they closed the dorms at my school. So I had actually had to come back to San Antonio, which is where I'm at right now. Okay. It's where my family is. Um, where no one knows me at all as a video person. And then that was kind of like a bummer or whatever. But I was just like, I'm, I wasn't going to like sit around here. So then I just started like reaching out to a bunch of people. Um, I think I was doing, because ba that was back then it was whenever there was, you really couldn't go outside at all. So I was trying to do like product videos. Um, I did a couple of those. And then now I'm like really trying to like get more into like real estate and then like stuff like I saw you did on your YouTube, like um, the one you did at the grocery store, mm -hmm. stuff like that, like commercial stuff. Yeah. And I guess like my question would be like, the biggest one is like, how, how should I be approaching? Like, I don't, I want to do the commercial stuff as like, kind of like how you are like you're your own like you don't like work for like another like ad agency like they hire you so I guess how would I start off in that like do I email them do I cold call them do I try to meet them in person like I guess that's kind of like my biggest question gotcha um so the way that I got started into doing tv commercials was I got hired by flooring company to do a uh promo video for them. I did like a minute video for them. After we shot that video, they started advertising and then they decided, they're like, they hit me back up like a month later and they're like, hey, we're gonna do TV stuff. Could you cut that one minute video that we did and come up with a new script that we could run a 30 second commercial for? So I was like, yeah, sure. So I cut them a 30 second commercial and then they send it out. I didn't think anything of it. And then a week later, the TV agency hit me up and they were like, um, they were like, Hey, um, she was like, Hey, um, like how much you charge? You know, they're like, we're a TV agency. This is what we do. Uh, we're looking for other video production companies that we could send, you know, people to do that kind of work for. So I guess the biggest thing in your situation would be, do you have anything in your portfolio or in your portfolio? Oh my God, portfolio that matches a thirty-second TV spot. Mm. Yes and no, I guess. Yeah. So in, in yeah. that situation, you know, other things that I've done, dude, I've cut my own. You know, so like the other thing that happens with a lot of clients is that. I always deliver them what they want and what they ask for. And then the thing is, you still have all that footage, right? Make mm -hmm. your own version. I tell people this all the time. This is the easiest way for you, for you to lose a client. It's to not give your client what they're asking for because you think you know better. And right. I always hear, you know, a lot of different things in the pro groups that I'm in and like, no, like you're the expert, you know better. You have to give your client what they want. But I've been in a situation where I asked somebody to like, hey, can you deliver this to me? And they're like, well, I did it differently because I thought, you know, this looked better. I'm like, I understand that. But me as a client, if I'm paying you, give me what I want. And then you can do whatever you want for that. You know what I mean? Because right now, if I asked you to like, hey, give me this 15 second video with this, this and that, you gave me with something else on it. If the video doesn't work. I'm going to blame you for not delivering me what I wanted. And that's why it didn't work. Right. But now right. if he gave me exactly what I wanted, I'd be like, Oh shit, maybe the kid was right. Let me get back to him. And maybe he could do the other thing that he suggested because what I wanted didn't work. But if you don't deliver 
what your client's asking you for, they're, they're always going to be second guessing you. And that's something that I learned of like, you know, not approaching it that way. So if you have footage, cut a 30 second commercial. Now with the whole TV production thing, it's one of those things that for you to approach those businesses, like TV commercials are not cheap to run on television. I just got off the call with my rep over at a TV station. Like, you know, you're talking about spending between like $5,000 a month or more to, you know, get yourself like, you know, you know, a thousand TV spots on television, plus, you know, whatever they were doing on tablets and all those different things. So the way that I would approach this, if you're trying to look for local businesses, I would start looking to see who's advertising. Like when you get an ad, the way that I do this, like if I'm scrolling through my Instagram or my Facebook and I get an ad from a local business, I usually do a screenshot of them and then I'll go to Facebook so go to Google and type in Facebook ads library, and then you can type in the business name. And it's going to show you all the ads that they're running, right? So then in the sense of like, okay, they're running a bunch of photo ads. Maybe I could pitch them and be like, Hey, um, you know, saw that you're running Facebook ads. I'm a, you know, a videographer. I'm getting into doing business stuff. Um, you know, for other clients that I've worked in the past, switching to video ads versus photo ads, is performing a lot better for them. Um, I'm running a special now for 500 bucks or whatever the number is, I can make you a video ad that you can start using for your advertisement. Is that something that you'd be interested in? So with, with that approach to business right now versus doing the big TV productions, I think for someone starting now, it's more feasible because mm -hmm. you know finding businesses, like, like right now, dude, I'm, I'm working. So I was doing a lot of, you know, four to $5,000 projects. Right now, I just closed two projects this week for two grand. And I'm doing the same amount of production, but it's one of those things that like people are being frugal with their money. So like to get them to spend the same type of money to do that kind of production, it's a, it's a lot of few in between. But, right. you know, I could do a $500 video that I'm going to knock out in four hours. You know what I mean? Like I'm okay with that. It's, but, you know, with you just starting out, that's kind of a, you know, a tactic that I would approach. Other things you could do is um, look up marketing, go to like Google marketing agencies, San Antonio. Start looking through all of them. Which one, which one does not offer video? Mm -hmm. and it might be like, Hey, I'm, I, you know, I've have experience. I've been looking to connect. If you guys ever have any video projects you guys need help with, I'd love to help. Here's some of my promos I put together. Um, but that's the other thing you need to make promos. That's going to fit what they're looking for. So like, and if you work with restaurants, put, or if you, you know, put together a restaurant promo video that, you know, make it your best video possible and then send that marketing agency that works with restaurants, that promo video, same thing. Like right now I'm doing a lot of dentist stuff because you yeah. know, dentists, you know, they're still busy. Even today I had I, like this whole new thing I'm doing, one of the dentists told me that he was too busy, that they don't want to do the video, which is fine. But that's your thing. They're still busy. And they're still charging the same amount of money. They're not flexing on their prices, right? So the dentist is, you know, a niche that I'm trying to kind of get down in. But when I send the dentist stuff, I'm only sending him dentist videos. So when you're approaching these other marketing agencies, show them the kind of work that's going to fit within their portfolio so, so they can show that to their clients. Because if you're going to show them a music video that you've done, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it might look cool, but to them, they're like, okay, this kid shoots music videos. And that was a big problem that I had when I first got here. The guy's like, Hey, like, I want to, I want to do video, but all your stuff is either music video or behind the scenes or it's fashion. He's like, how do I know that you, you're going to be able to shoot a music video for me? And I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. You're going to, you're a business owner. You don't have time to waste and you don't want to take a chance. But if I showed you, you know, uh, a business video, then you're willing to do this. He's like, yeah. So I hit up a bunch of businesses. I got one guy that was like, yeah, you could shoot a free, a free business video for me. I did that. And that was one of the first dentists I worked with and then, you know, made a video for him. And then, um, he referenced me to somebody, another dentist that saw his video. And then I charged that dentist like two grand for a video. So, but like for business owners, they don't want to, they don't want to take the chance of, you know, you messing up on their time or budget if you don't have something to prove to them. Right. 
And um, with the dentist, you got that by reaching out to their their people, like their marketing agency, or you actually reached out to them like one-on-one? I reached out to them. Um, literally yeah. was like, the way that I do it is same thing, dentist. I was doing dentist West Palm Beach. I started looking through Google. I don't know, can I do a share screen through here? Let me see if I can figure this out. Um, can you see my screen or no? Uh, no, I just see you still. Um, How do I do the share screen? Cool. Right, you can see this? Yes, now I can see. All right. So, like in this situation, I'm going to do, you know, dentist, West Palm Beach. Perfect. So, like right now, Aspen Dental, I know they're a huge company. I'm probably not going to be able to lend them. Uh, but they're spending mm -hmm. money, you know what I mean? This other company, dental implants, navigations, teeth in the day of Florida. I'm going to check this out. Because like right now it's really telling me like they are spending money on advertisement, right? Dental implant center. I think this is just another big, okay, so I'm going to help you know. Palm Beach Dental Implants. So they pretty much have like four locations, I'm guessing. I'm probably going to go out of this one. And you're call, are you calling them or emailing them? I'm emailing. So the way that you want to do this is that you want to email them first. And then from that email, you're going to want to then follow up with the phone call. So, so they don't, even if they don't reply, then you call them. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Because um, I emailed like every dentist I could find in San Antonio. And I'm not going to lie. No one replied. <laughs> Yeah, but it's one of those things too, because like, um, so like, not saying, let me go back to it's here's the thing too dentists are busy, and I don't know what your email looked like for them, but you know, the Can I tell you? yeah, so like, here, yeah. so this is another tool that I use, it's called uh, Vidyard Go, and you can embed a video on here, right. So pretty much I was like, hey, Kyle, just wrapped up filming a video for Austin regarding their new safety protocols, along with adding the videos to the website. They're also sending it to their patients when they confirm their appointments. So they click the video here. I get a notification of when they click the video and how much of that video they actually watched. I was like, the shoot only took two hours and the video is ready in one day. Price at 997. Let me know if this is something to be interested in. Hope you're having a great day. So I sent this to him six days ago, right? He just oh. emailed me back saying like, hey, Rodrigo, thanks for reaching out. Uh, nice video. I'm not wanting to make another COVID. I'm not looking to make a video, blah, blah. But he's like, I'm looking to market, you know, um, my practice with some Invisalign and Botox and da, 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 yada. So it takes a long time, right? Dentists are busy, yeah. bro. And I have another one that I was talking to this dude here, which kind of taking forever, but same thing, you know, I pretty much try to always send the same email with this. So I can like try to figure out what works and whatnot, but kind of the same thing. Like, Hey, finished the video. Yada, yada. So it took him. So it took him four days to reply to me. Hey, Rodrigo, nice video. How much are you charging? It's like, Hey, thank you. Investments, $997. Um, turn around 24 days, bring money back guarantee. And then, you know, it was like, hey, he's going to follow up. So this is like four days go by. I don't hear from him. Um, and then I also told him, like, you know, I checked out your website. I noticed that, you know, it's missing this, this, and that within your videos. Um, I can help you that for free. And then, you know, he hit me back up. He was like, hey, right now we're pretty slammed. And, you know, we're ready to release some information about our protocols. If patients start to drop off. And with this guy, I was actually going to try to be a little bit more pushy, but it's one of those things that, so, but it's cool. But you know what I mean? So like I sent out this email to six practices, two of them got back to me. And actually funny enough, this other dude, the first one that I showed you, he's actually the dentist that I did my first video, my first free dental video for. He's the one I did that video for. So now, even though I did my first free video for him, I've actually other I've actually done other paid stuff for him and he actually paid me for. So like I built that relationship with him. Right. So mm -hmm. that dentist actually pointed me out to the second dentist that paid me like two grand for a video, which then also ended up doing SEO for him, which 
and there'd be like another thousand dollars on top of that. But then that dentist pointed me to this dentist that kind of just flaked on me that saying he didn't have time. But it's one of those things of like, you know, just kind of being consistent and understanding that with dentists, they are busy and they get these emails. Like, I don't know how, you know, optimized you are with like, you know, getting emails, but like when you start, where's my junk? When you, when you actually like set up your business and you're actually like, or like, you know, listed in different places, you get emails all the time of like, Hey, quick call marketing content. Like, Hey, I want to help you get on the first page. There's all these different emails and stuff that you get. So, you know, you have yeah. to be very tactical about how you're reaching out to these companies because they see this all the time with the first guy yeah. that I did a free video for. It took three emails and like one phone call, actually two phone calls for me to actually talk to him because he's like, Hey, so you really offer me a free video. Like I get emails all the time. Cause I sent him like, I sent him a breakup email and I was like, Hey, listen, try emailing you three times. You know, I really wanted to work with you. I saw you guys have great reviews, but I haven't heard back from you. I'm going to reach out to somebody else in your area. And I just want to make sure that you're not interested before I reach out to them because we're only going to work with one bit. We're only, we're only looking for one business in your area. If you're not interested, let me know. I'm going to contact somebody else. And he's like, Hey, wait, wait. Like, so like, it's really a free video. I'm like, yeah, dude, free video. All I'm asking like, you know, and I told him like, I'm new. I just moved here from New York. I've done a lot of video stuff, but it's been in another in industry. I'm trying to get my feet within doing, you know, business stuff. And I saw you have a great, you have great reviews. You're active in social media. You know, you have a good website. You're, you're young. Like those are the kind of businesses I'm looking to, to work with, you know, so this is where I think, you know, this could benefit you. Um, so he's like, all right, let's do the video. But then, you know, throughout the whole process, of course, you know, not everything always goes accordingly. Like I'm, I messed up on the video. Like there's things that I did on his video of like, I didn't, I didn't like properly. I tried to like, I pretty much tried to do everything way too fast. And like, I didn't have time to like light it exactly like I needed it. But it's one of those things with like, working with the dentist he's busy right so like i'm doing an interview and it's like i had 15 minutes to ask the question that he like had to go back to do like surgery then like we're waiting for 30 minutes he came back did another thing so it's just like they're very busy and those are kind of hard people to work with in the beginning when you don't have everything nailed down okay so good places to start a lot of my first videos i was doing i did restaurants because like restaurants you know i can i was like hey can i get can you pay me $250 and then give me a $250 gift card to your restaurant? They'd be like, yeah, I can, I can do that. You know what I mean? So like, I'm like, cool. So now I got money to eat and I'm getting some cash mm -hmm. in my pocket. So like that worked out for me. So you got to figure out how can you negotiate with some of these businesses or maybe, you know, you end up bartering, bartering with some of them. Um, like I said, if you're just starting out and you haven't done a lot of interviews, no dentist is a big leap. You know what I mean? Like okay. I'll start doing like something a little bit easier. You're going to have a little bit more time to actually sit down and interview somebody because dentists is, you know, it, it, it is a lot to do in a very short amount of time. Mm -hmm. But like, you know, this whole situation, like do like, you know, right here, those people have 220 reviews from your dentist in Palm beach. I'll go to their website 4.6. It looks good. So they already got videos. What the hell is that? So they already got videos. Do you think they already have videos? Or are you like, okay, not them? No, I wouldn't say, I would probably say not them. Just so like they already got two videos here. When are they? Because like, I'm not like 2017. So like, you know, it's not, it's not too old. I'm trying to yeah. see if they have any other videos on their channel. They don't have anything else. So like they probably wouldn't be someone someone that I would go after, or maybe I'll just drop them an email and it'd be like, "Hey, doctors." And that's the other thing too. When you hit them up, you want to you want to find out who is the doctor's name. You don't want to be like, "Hey, to whom I'm making concern," or like, "Hey, marketing director." Do research, find out who is the the decision maker, and you have to put their name in the email because you need to get those emails to like, you know, I had people that reach out to me and they're like. Hey, Drigo, who I'm like, bro, my name, if you want to find my name, it's not that hard. You can go to my website. You can find me on LinkedIn. Like you're not taking the time to figure out who I am. 
I know that, you know, you, you're not going to take the same time to like invest into my business. So right. in this situation, I'm probably just going to skip this dude. Um, so this is the next person, 102 reviews, bam, smell confidence, dentistry. Normally the first things I look for is I'll try to see if they have like the, the like the little local, see the little icons and stuff like that. They don't have, mm -hmm. I try to see if they have a YouTube icon. If they don't have YouTube, I go to Facebook. Then from Facebook, I'll click on videos, which, okay, they do have a video there. What do they have? So he did a year ago, you know, he did some video in the past, but he doesn't have a profile business video. This guy here would probably be someone not bad for me to reach out to. And I call out a note like, hey, came across your website. Do this Google My Business or Google Plus? A Google My Business. All right, cool. Um, you know, I'll be like, Hey, you know, just like, I'll do like a short intro. Um, and it's just like, Hey, notice you've done videos in the past. Um, you know, if you're ever looking to do more, um, you know, this is what we've done in the past for other people. So COVID-19 safety protocols. So like this, I could pitch him on the COVID-19, you know, cause I'm like, Hey, I notice you have a COVID-19 page. Um, see if you'd be interested in doing a video. Kind of like how I did to the, the other guy. And he's like, hey, I don't need a COVID-19 video, but I might need something else. So I might mm -hmm. actually hit up this guy. Um, he's a pretty, like, you know, website's new. Also, like, I forgot to check when I'm on Facebook. But is he active, right? When's the last time you posted? June 7th. You know, it's not that bad. Hiring a dental hygienist. So, like, you know, they're growing. Uh, office tours. So they haven't been that active in their social media, but it's somebody that I would probably want to reach out to. Right. And this really applies to like, you know, any other business. So another good one is like, I try to normally stay away. So when you're starting out and I just didn't look at all your work in that sense, mm -hmm. but like, you know, I think coffee shops, restaurants are a great place to start because like it's mostly just B-roll stuff. And then from yeah. there, you can start incorporating, like, you know, dialogue. But, like, contractors is another, like, good one because they have, you know, um, they have high-paying clients. Contractors? So, like, yeah. So, let me do, you know, flooring. Let's one reach. So, mm -hmm. P.S., this is actually one of the companies we did the video for, P.S. Flooring. Um, so, you know, but same thing, they're running ads, Quantum Forums, Home Advisor, Empire Today. And you check if they're running ads because that lets you know if they believe in marketing? Yeah, because, well, right there, it just showed me that they are running ads because so Empire Today, I already actually seen, they do, I get, I get ads from them all the time. But, um, you know, but going to right here, it tells me they're running an ad ran an ad, ran an ad, you know, this is home advisor, so it's not like I'm gonna get to work with them, but Quantum Floors, Palm Beach Gardens, you know, you'd be like, hey, I see you're running ads. Have you guys considered adding, you know, video to your, um, to part of your promotion, whatever it is. But when you're first email with them, like you just wanna do like an intro type of email. Like you don't wanna pitch them on the first, um, on the first call. So let me see. What do you mean by that? So like on the lat on that email, so you just be like, hey, so I can find out the name of this dude. Be like, hey John, love uh, what you guys are doing with your website and notice that you guys are, you know, doing a little bit of advertisement. I'll love to touch base and find out more uh what or I guess in this situation I'd be like Hey John, came across Quantum Floors. You guys have some really awesome reviews. Love what you guys are doing. I wanted to reach out. I'm from Tasca Studios, a video production agency that specializes in working with local businesses. Uh, we had some great results for one of our clients, PS Flooring, on creating a profile business video with them. Love to find out um, if you guys ever considered doing video or just what you're doing with your marketing. Let me know if you could set up a time to call. So like, I'm not like, I'm letting him know, like, Hey, my intent is to do business with you. I'm not going to be like, Hey, you know, I'm going to sell you a video. It's going to be two grand. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to pitch them on my service right away. I just want to build that connection with them first. And with that connection, then when you actually get on that call or they hit you back, then you can start talking to them about like how you can help them 
Oh yeah, that's exactly what I do. But you want to like find out like what are they doing? And another great channel, if you don't follow them, dude, it's called The Future. F U T U R. Shout out to Christo, my boy. Um, you got to learn about business owners. You need to learn how to solve their business problems. So like you know, the other big thing when I first got started was that I was just trying to make a pretty video because I thought it looked cool. But the thing is. For a business owner, a video is a piece of marketing collateral that's going to help them get more deals. And that's where you're selling. You're selling the results, right? Because if you just give them a video and they don't have a strategy on how to use that video, it's not going to perform for them. And then all they're going to tell you is like, hey, the video didn't work. But if you're like, hey, I see you running ads. You know, have you considered putting a video on your landing page when a client clicks on your ad that shows them everything that you do? I'm like, oh, that's a good idea. You know what I mean? I haven't thought about that. And then you, then you could have content about like, you know, about how video helps convert faster, how video can help, you know, get their website on Google. It helps them rank faster. All these different things of how video can help a business owner. Those are the problems that business owners are trying to solve. So the other way, so Quantum Floor, we go to Facebook, Facebook ads library. So with all this like shit that's happening with Facebook, they started doing this thing that they actually are calling like ad transparency that they will pretty much show you any ad that somebody's running. So quantum floors, all ads. So right now they're actually not running any, any ads on Facebook. So let's go back to Facebook ad library. Facebook ads library. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's nothing. Okay, so let's go to the other company that I worked with in the past, PS Flooring. So like right now, they're only running one ad, right? Cover alert, during this type of time, leave your house, to come to you, blah, blah, blah. So you know, they could be running, like, hey, so you're running an ad for this, if you guys consider doing video, uh, you know, helps minimize the cost of your ad spend, gets way more views, and da 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 da. Yeah, but just knowing that ads so like you didn't just, did you didn't just email them. You like that ad so like you didn't just email them. Like you know their name. You also know what they're doing on Facebook, and then like you didn't just like randomly email them. You don't really care about them. You're just trying to sell a video. Exactly, and that okay. and, and you and that's the thing too because like they get these emails all the time. But if you're actually taking the time to actually you know take a look at their business and what they are doing, um, you know that's where you know you're gonna be able to stand up. But you also you wanna build a relationship, right? But like you know, so the same thing. You know, they could you could do I could do a video for them. I'll look at uh, about here contact. Oh, they're gonna borrow here. Oh, did you have a video? Do you like? If you're just starting out, these are kind of videos I feel like that you can knock out. Yeah, I think I just did one yesterday that was kind of like this for a construction uh, company. So when is this video from? So this video is a little old. So like it'd be like, hey, you know, I saw you guys have videos. If you guys ever considered doing more or Tasca Studios, um, no, I just, I just want to be on your radar. So let me see if they have, to go back to Facebook. So do you have a video there two weeks ago? Yes, I mean, they're doing a little bit of video. So, but like, that's usually my way that I look at. I go to YouTube, I see if they have a YouTube link. I see if they have, um, you know, I go to Facebook, are they doing any videos? So at least, you know, you know, be like, hey, see so you're doing video. If you ever need help, we do also offer editing, whatever it might be that you want to approach it, but you want to do research. Mm -hmm. 
and you find out like, you know, these people are active three weeks ago, two weeks ago, you know what I mean? Like, it wouldn't hurt me. So like, oh, our response to COVID-19. In these uncertain times, we are all concerned with where we can go and be assured that we are safe. Quantum Floors is a designated essential business where we are committed to the well-being and safety of our customers and staff. To assure this, our showrooms have been professionally sanitized using a non-toxic system to give the cleanest environment possible. So another probably great way for you, bro, I would actually hit up one of these companies that actually sanitizes businesses mm -hmm. and be like, hey, um, you know, I do video production. Uh, I'd love to partner up with you. I'm offering, you know, a 10% referral on other businesses. And then look up this video here, like write this one down and be like, I'd love to shoot a video like this for one of your clients. So we could both use this as marketing collateral. Would you like to partner up for me to do one free video for you similar to this that we could potentially show to both of our clients? Mm. Yeah. And then, and then you could do that. And then, you know, you could, you know, but this is, I would, and that's the other thing too. Like you could show them somebody else's video. You know what I mean? Like I pitch clients on videos from other production companies because I'm pitching them on the concept. Right. It's like, hey, I don't have something exactly like this, but this is what I'm thinking. So that's the way I'll, you know, go look for clients. You know, they're spending money and, you know, right there was all the signs, right? They were spending money. I went to Facebook. They're doing video ads. You know, this is an active company. And then if they're not interested, you know, find another company that, you know, could be very similar to that and just be like, now you could pitch them on a concept of like, hey, I see that they're doing this, this, and that. Would you be interested in doing, you know, something similar to this? This is where your competitors are doing. Like the, the fear of missing out is something that, you know, a lot of people, you know, go through. So they don't have any videos. Yeah. So it'd be like, hey, you know, these other companies are doing this. I see that, you know, you're ranking, you're on the, you know, Google three pack, but I noticed that you don't have any videos. Um, maybe you considered it or thought about it, but you know, you want to build that conversation. And you're not going like all in on the first email. Yeah, you can't, you know what I mean? Cause you, you know, you don't want to be pushy in, in that sense. Um, and also you, sometimes you never know who is going to answer the first email. Because sometimes, you know, they might have a secretary or something like that. And if you're too pushy on that email, you're never providing any value up front. They're just going to delete your email. Okay. What are you charging for videos? Uh, right now, anywhere, like, the most I've gotten paid is 1200 and, but for the most part, that's not where I'm at. Like I'm really around like the 150 to like 300 range. Okay. So we're charging 500 bucks, bro. You're dealing with the business owner. You said it's $500 flat fee. Cause I mean, how, how much work are you putting into that 150 to $200 video? A lot. Yeah. So like, and here's the thing too, that if you're or actually, if anything, you know, Star pitching it at like 750, 600, and then bring it down to $500 if they think it's too expensive. Because if you're talking to a business owner that can't afford a $500 video, it's one of those things that, you know, you're talking to the wrong business owner. And the reason I go after dentists and flooring companies and stuff like that is because, you know, let's see if there's any pricing on here. Let's go to PS Flooring. Um, where's the website? website. Um, do you have any specials? Browser products, slime products. So right here, right? Two rooms, twelve ninety nine, two thousand dollars, four thousand dollars for your home house. So like, hey, if I make you a video, and one person sees that video, you're already making your money back. You know, I mean, you have to mm -hmm. give them some way to, you know compared to two, so it'd be like, you know, let's say only a hundred people see that video throughout the year and you spend 500 bucks on a video, you made your money back on the, on the first person that sees this. Yeah. So for like, for these, we did, 
me go uh, YouTube. I gotta click my show. I gotta clear my cache. Um, PS one. So this was the main video that we did for them. And then we did, and then this was the TV spot that we did. At PS Flooring, we carry the nation's top quality brands with a larger selection of colors, including scratch resistant and water stock footage. Flooring, keeping you worry free. All for a great low price with next day installation. Now get two. So like, you know, this ad, you know, so like, and then we had a 15 second one. I don't know if they have it up here. It might be unlisted because they're running ads on it. But you have to be able to give them like, you know, a way for them to like, you know, visualize how are they going to use this. But there's no reason you can't make a video like that and charge 500 bucks. But that's where it's hard right. when you do it with a restaurant and you're like, hey, 500 bucks for a video. They're like, okay, for me to, for me to make that money back on 500 bucks, like I have to sell so many coffees. I got to sell so many pizzas for me to make that investment back. So for them, it's like a very long-term investment. But a business like this, or like an AC company, you're in freaking, you know, Texas. It gets fucking hot outside. AC companies, you know, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna make some good money. Let's see, AC. You're just looking at those people that, you know, these two companies probably be a good one for me to go after. Let's see if they have any special, just so we get an idea for pricing. This is horrible. You probably definitely need a new video. But you know, try to look for these bigger companies. And if you're working with any business and you're like, hey, I'm running a special right now, $4.99 for a 30 second bit or like a 40 second business video. And then just show them a sample uh, of that video you've done and be like, Four ninety nine. The video's ready in a week. Like, That's too much. Okay, cool. Thank you. Move on to the next person. Did I spend so much time when I got started mm -hmm. trying to explain to people? Like when I was giving out those free videos, I literally, my little sister had emailed a hundred people, and one person emailed us back telling us no. And then I was like, "Hey, why not?" And they're like, "Cause like we don't need video." I'm like, "Bitch! Like everybody needs video. How are you telling me that you don't need video?" Everybody needs a video. Doesn't matter what business you're in, a video is gonna benefit your business. Doesn't matter what industry it is. But they're telling me like, no, we don't need video. I'm sitting here trying to talk to these people, trying to convince them versus just finding that person. So, you no, know, by looking at the people that have, you know, this guy here, he's probably not interested in a video because websites old as fuck. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like videos are old as fuck. I didn't want to look at their, they even have social media on here. You know what I mean? It's one of those things of like, this is probably not a good lead just because I could tell, of, you know, just looking at their website. So AC repair, they have no reviews. This one's pretty old too, not responsive. You know, it doesn't go full frame across. Put some better reviews on here, Shoreline. Okay, you know, nice little website, full screen, booking an appointment, air conditioning contractors. Let them see if they have any, the Facebook icon. Okay, go to Facebook. Last time they posted, yeah, they posted yesterday. Okay, that's a good sign, great service. You know, June 26, you're active, but they don't have any videos. This is probably somebody good for me to go after. You know what I mean, they're active on social media. They have a responsive website. You know, they're, you know, they are, this is the kind of company that's trying to be progressive while the other ones are. So this would be someone that I want to talk to. So like, you know, I'll go to contacts if there's any of the owner's names on here. Locally owned, da -da 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 -da. nothing on here. Another great way to kind of find somebody's name is to go back, let's see about us. Open appointment, shoreline. Says, uh, this is why I came close, says Kevin. Kevin begins, perfect. Here's Kevin. I know the owner's name, right? That's already, you know what I mean? I could probably already find out, you know, what there is. So here, another way that you can find out the people to contact them 
go to Hunter IO. I'm going to send you this video, by the way. Okay. Thank you. I know it's a lot of fucking info. Find email addresses. Okay. So, sources, one email address. Sign up to. Uh, okay. So, I would create an account for this, but Hunter IO would give you an idea of what the email address would be for that person. So when I signed up, it would tell me like, hey, these are the different variations for you to try to contact the person's name. So it'd probably be like either Kevin, whatever his last name is, like, you know, one letter, but there are tools out there that you can use to really figure out who are these people that you're trying to contact. Mm -hmm. So like, I'll do a little bit of research, but Shoreline, I'm actually gonna take a photo of them so I don't forget. There should be someone that, you know, I could pitch them, like, you know, if I wanted to make, you know, 500 bucks today, I could hit them up and make a $500 video pretty quickly. Yeah. And like, do you, have you, have you done, have you ever done like any real estate video work? I don't work a realtor. I do, I've done some real estate stuff, um, but I don't work with realtors. The problem working with realtors is that they don't get paid until the deal closes. So unless you're working mm -hmm. with a broker, then, you know, that might have, you know, the money to spend on marketing. It's one of those things that to me is such a hassle of like, most realtors, and I'm sorry for my realtor friends that worked there in the past, they watch this video. It's like, dude, they're cheap. They ask for a lot of revisions. Um, and it's one of those things of like, they always know somebody that's going to do the video for cheaper. So like for just getting started and you want to, you know, make those $200 videos and stuff like that, then great. But it's one of those things for me that I rather work with these businesses because like, as soon as you shoot that $500 video for one business, dude, you're going to be like, shit, I could charge a thousand dollars to the next person. And with the realtors, it's not that scalable. So the only other realtor video that I would do is, uh, where's this chick's name? Let me see. On your YouTube, I think you made one. It wasn't really a real estate video, but it was for a real estate. It was I for did, a realtor. I did one for my friend Jennifer, uh, Jennifer yeah. Lynch, her designs. Was this the one where you uh, did her, like she was driving in the car? Oh, so that one, I actually never finished that video. Okay. We started, I know which one you're talking about. It's like one of my, one of my like first YouTube videos. So we started that one, but then we never finished it. But for that one, I was actually going to shoot a profile business video for that realtor, which that's like mm -hmm. a whole different, you know, scenario of like, I'm shooting a video for her business. I'm not shooting a video for a real estate property, which is very yeah, different. But still, it's one of those things for you to do one of those, you need to be talking to a realtor that's closing a million dollar listings all the time because, you know, I mean, you could probably do one for like 500 bucks. Um, but just for me, like at that point, I'm really trying to do those higher, you know, price videos. So the other one I did is for uh, my friend Jennifer. This is more of like a, um, She's an interior designer. So we did like a property project tour type thing. So in this renovation, we're going to look at the kitchen first. Originally, there was a huge wall here that we wanted to complete. So like this is just something that I did with like this video. I think it charged like 1500 bucks. But like it's one of those things like there's no pre-production for me. Um, all I had to use for this was my Ronin S my sony a7 III with the tamron wide lens then i use the rode wireless mic and we're literally just like hey you know we're just walking and she's talking about the property and then i had to like you know just cut it up at the whatever the photos music sound effects and all that but it was an easy project and like i didn't mind it because like you know i actually had i have fun shooting these videos with her but like i said with realtors it was one of those things for me unless you're going to be doing a profile business videos for them, I normally stay away from them.
There you go. I lost you for a second. Yeah, my bad. Oh, good. So that's that's my uh, that's my thoughts on realtors. Um, get anything else for me, bro? No, that's it, man. I like I really appreciate your time, especially your YouTube channel, man. Like that's gonna blow up soon. Uh, sure. Fingers crossed, man. Fingers crossed. <laughs> um, so with your business, have you? So like, are you gonna be home for a long time now? What's your scenario with all? No, of that? I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be back in Alaska like in August. So I guess this month, and then like a little bit of August, and I go back to Alaska. And how long are you gonna be in Alaska for? Probably. Like you took out of school like two, three years, something like that. Yeah, but even then, I plan on like staying there. Gotcha. Um. Yeah. So I mean. I mean, you can't really do it now because like if you're back home in a month, the other thing I was going to tell you to start doing right now is, uh, do you have like a name for your business? Uh, not really. I just go by directed by Joey. Okay, cool. I mean, so when you do get back to Alaska, where in Alaska are you? Anchorage. How do you spell that? Uh, A-N-C-H O R. A G E. Anchorage, Alaska video. Is this what you want to do? Like when you get older, or what? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I I want to start when I I want to get like successful enough where like I probably don't even have to finish school. I'm not really learning anything about this stuff in school, anyways. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't go to school, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, the good thing, so 20 years old, Alaska, video postcards, up to one studios. I mean, honestly, if you figure out the name of your business, I would mm -hmm. set up a Google My Business listing. Um, just I've been in this group chat, and I, 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 you mentioned it in another video, and I've been in this group chat, on Facebook called like how to sell video production, something yeah. like that. And I put in there like, how can I end up like on like, when someone types in my city and videographer and they were all saying like, oh, it's not worth it or it's impossible and stuff. And then, Definitely not so impossible. I don't know. It's how I started my business. Yeah. But it's a lot, do you have a website? Yes, well, no, it's an Adobe portfolio. Yeah, so I mean, it's harder with stuff like that. Um, you know, but it's like, I always, you gotta, you gotta have a website and then okay. from there you have to get your, let me see. So right now, do you know who Action Videos Production is? Not at the top of my head. Okay. Do you know any of the production companies in your area? In my area? Yeah. There's or like in Alaska. Peak three. Yeah. There's like Peak 3. Um that's it that's all yeah, i see i see peak three they're number one two three four five six on google search production Anchorage, Alaska. all right so like right now there's no one can you see my screen mm -hmm. okay cool so like right now there's no one advertising for video production there the number one spot is action video production on uh, syntax peak three um so no reviews and then who's this c plus what are they called cr creative yeah cr creative so they're number two yeah. spot um clutch production hub peak three Alaska video shooter. So like peak three has a really good chance of moving up to the number one spot. And then that's how I like, you know, but this is like, this is the kind of marketing that just takes a little bit longer, you know, and here's the other thing too. I don't know where the people in your, in your group are that, mm -hmm. you know, it's way more competitive. And like if you're in New York city or LA, Dude, it's, it's fucking hard to get in the number one spot because you're competing against so many other people and people that have been doing it for, for a really long time. One of the reasons I moved back to South Florida 
was because of that. I was like, yo, you know what? For me to stay in New York and stay competitive in this, like, it's going to be so hard. I'm competing against people that got skin in the game for a really long time. But if I move back to South Florida and do this, it's going to be a lot easier. So for me, so let's do... So, like, you know, these are all paid ads, but I got the number one spot there. I got two spots on videos, and I got the second spot on here. Up City's beating me because they're a huge directory, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, right now, within the first page, I got four spots. And I'm not paying for any of this. This is all free, but I've optimized my website to perform for those. So then the other way I could do, let me see, Pompano Beach. Because honestly, it's not hard if you know what you're doing. How did you make your website? Squarespace. Okay. But then here, like, you know, Pompano Beach Video Production, I'm, num I'm still number one on Google Local Search. I got two spots in videos, and then I'm number three for the local results. But then, same thing, let's do video production. So I just moved up to West Palm Beach. So here I'm not, I'm not on the top three, but I am number two on organic search. So, you know what I mean? It's one of those things that like, you know, if you know what, it's like right now, you know, it tells me like, you know, I have written here Video production media agency in West Palm Beach. I have a video production agency based in West Palm Beach in Pompano Beach, Florida. So I've optimized my website to appear on Google search for what they're looking for. Right now, what I'm trying to do next is get my business appearing here, which I'm actually switching my website to a different platform for like website speed. But like, you know, I got 19 reviews on here. I think more, more than anybody else other than other than it's American media professionals, which not, I don't know who they are, but like, fuck this website. Like, you know what I mean? But like, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna like, like this looks so outdated, but my website's super slow. So that's something that I'm working on now is like, I, I know site speed, something that's super important to Google. So I'm working mm -hmm. on that by, um, you know, making some changes internally. But it's not hard, but I tell you what, it's a lot cheaper than this. Paying, paying to be up here, it's super competitive. And, you know, it's, it's not bad when you have, you know, number one spot here, you have a spot here, and you're up here, you're just taking up real estate. But if you're paying to be up here and you're not anywhere here, that's just, you're just spending a lot of fucking money. Mm hmm but it's one of those things, you can, the way you, the best way to start is to go to, was it Google My Business, go here, literally set up your business, then go to Yelp My Business, create a Yelp listing, and then go to Bing My Business and start listing there. And that's where you'd want to start. Um, and then from there, you can do all the website optimization and all the other stuff. Um, but this is a free listing that you could have your business on to, you know, start getting free leads. Like most of my biggest clients have come from Google search. Okay. Yeah. Like I, cause I had said that in my group chat, they were like, no, it's not worth it. Like, Oh, it's impossible. And they kept saying something about SEO. And honestly, I don't know yeah. what that is. So it's uh, pretty much search engine optimization. And it's pretty much like, my when my website, like you saw, I said, you know, video production West Palm Beach, you no know, media agency West Palm Beach. I'm optimizing my website for Google's SEO stuff. So oh, as that's long kind as of like that, when you make a what? Like when you make a YouTube channel and you put all those little tags or whatever. Exact same thing. You know, Google owns YouTube, so a lot of those principles of like optimizing your video titles, optimizing the ta the tags, optimizing the descriptions. It's, it all comes from Google. So like, but that's the other thing too, is when you start, so like a, a, one of the big things that we do is we optimize 
our videos for SEO, we optimize our clients' videos for SEO to perform with their business SEO. So that's another like a uh, level extra value that we try to provide is that. So Jupiter Farms Dentist. So Riverbend Family Dentistry, Riverbend Family Dentistry, it's one of our clients, right? If you go to YouTube, and you put Jupiter Farms Dentist, number one spot, number two spot. But now, you know, that video that we've done for them, I have a link here. That video is embedded inside of their website optimized for Jupiter dentists, you know, Riverband family. So like now Google is going to come here and doing their whole SEO stuff and be like, okay, websites optimized has the name of the place there. Oh, there's a video that's optimized for Jupiter farms dentist that's inside of here. And that video is also ranking inside of Google or inside of YouTube for the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, this is only, this is boosting their SEO by having a video that's optimized inside of their website along with having their website. So, but that's your thing of like, you know, I think there's levels to this that I think you, you progress through because like the other big step for what we're doing now is running video ads for clients. And like you see like Paul Xavier and there's other people, they're like, I'm gonna show you how to do a $30,000 video. Like, and when I get so mad about those videos is that like they're targeting People like you, they're just starting out and they're pitching them on this $30,000 video. And it's not that simple. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't, like no business owner is gonna give you $30,000 to do a video marketing campaign that you're gonna get right from the jump. Like there's progressions to this. And I think it's like, you know, going from making the smaller promo videos to then making those interview videos and integrating them with SEO video stuff, and then you start running video marketing campaigns for those because now you're going through the whole process of understanding these things and you're adding that extra value to your clients. For sure. Yeah. So, what are you going to do? Like, what's going to be your first step of action from this? Um, get off, like, get on, on Squarespace. I get off of the Adobe portfolio. Okay. And then I definitely am going to start, or that's second. The, the biggest thing is I'm going to start totally changing up how I approach people in the emails. Like I'm going yeah, to how are you doing that? Uh, I'll, read, I'll read it to you. Uh, is this, can you still hear me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Like this one right here. Okay. So this is one, this is, this is probably off because no one ever, no one ever replied, but I said, hello, my name is Joey Barranco. I'm, I make video marketing content for businesses that helps com communicate to potential customers slash clients what sets them apart from others and why they should come visit. I notice you all are active through photography on social media and would love to offer my video and photo services to you that you can share through your website and social media platforms to attract new businesses. Below, I have attached a video I recently worked on set for business as well as my website with all of my work. Thank you so much for your time. All the best. And then I have like the video and then the link to my Adobe portfolio. Got it. Yeah, so like just listening to it, it was definitely, your email is very centered around you. Okay. What, you, what you've been doing. So it's like, you know, that other email that I showed you in the beginning, it was just like, hey, found your business. You guys have some awesome reviews. I loved what that person had to say about what you guys are doing. And then be like, you know, we're Tosca Studios. We help local businesses get you no know, traffic through video production. We had some great success with this company and that company and doing something very similar to that. I'll love to find out more about your, you know, your video marketing goals or whatever you're doing for marketing, but it's very short, you know, you know what I mean? In that sense. Cause like, if somebody gets that email, it's like, you know, when some, you get that freaking text message that's like a fucking paragraph and you're like, oh my God, it's so much to read. 
it's the same thing. You want to keep it short, compliment them in the beginning, be like, hey, I shoot videos for businesses. Uh, where we help businesses through video production, love to find out, you know, I see you guys are active. I'd love to know, set up a time for us to chat. I'd love to find out what you guys are doing. Very short and simple. Like you don't need to like, you know, necessarily just full in pitch. Uh, a good YouTube channel that I've been watching a lot is um, Alex Berman. Yeah, so it's A-L-E-X-B-E-R-M-A-N. He does a lot of cold emailing stuff. I've been stealing a lot of stuff from him. His name is Alex Berman? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of stuff from him. And it's like, you know, get, get what you need out of certain people. You know what I mean? It's like right now, you'd want to spend some time doing, you know, how to cold, cold email clients like start looking at those things because that's how you're going to break through but if you know people in the area you know i started off with facebook you know put in a facebook comment and be like hey who here knows a business owner or an entrepreneur would love to connect with them because having that connection with you know another person that's introducing to you makes the whole process a lot faster and easier right and then you have the conversation like, hey, listen, I've done these videos. Um, you know, I've seen them help a lot of different businesses. I'm doing something right now for 500 bucks. I can come out and shoot a video. And then if you don't like it, I'll give your money back. But I'm confident that you're, you know, make, give them an unresistible offer that, you know, they're going to be like, well, shit, money back guarantee if I don't like it. You know, it'd be, it'd be equivalent to yeah. you shooting a free video for somebody. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But that's, you know, I'm offering the money back guarantee if I don't have the video ready for you in one day for that 997 COVID video. So I'm like, yeah. shit, a thousand bucks, money back guarantee if I didn't have the video back in one day. Okay. You know, what do I have to lose? Yeah. For sure. Thank you, bro. Seriously. Sure, man. Do I have, do I have you on IG? Uh, I have you. I don't, I don't know if you follow me back. It would be di- directed by Joey underscore. What's the Mary Rose? Oh, that's that's something else. That's something we do back in Anchorage, just right. like kind of for the kids. Um, use Linktree also. Like you have the directed by Joey, my portfolio, and then you have like your email yeah. there and stuff. Linktree, yeah. you're able to like you know just put a bunch of different links on there. Keep that looking a little bit cleaner. Okay, for sure. Yeah. Linktree. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, man. Well, let me know how it goes. You got questions? No, more than happy to help you out, dude. No, like, thank you so much. Seriously. For sure. What lighting gear do you have? So that's the thing. I haven't really just this right now. Okay. It's like the Yang Yang Gunu or something like that. But I'm I'm definitely gonna get some Godox lights, but I don't want to get it now because I'm about to travel across the world to Alaska. Yeah um i'm not sure so like a light that i've been using a lot that i love is these like bovi tack panels i think they're like 300 bucks right now um and they come with the light stands but these are bipolar but this last video that i shot for the the covid video um Mm -hmm. i used them and what i like about them did you even put like the v-mount batteries on them and yeah um the switches and all that shit, but for and the, I can that's a good key light. I use I use this. Oh, I'm gonna post a behind the scenes video for it. But I use this yeah. for the key light, and then I use it comes with two for the three hundred dollars. Oh wow! Um, I use one as a key light and the other one on the back. <laughs> but I'm like right now I'm really big into the whole run and gun type situation, just because like you know if you got the gold, I actually have the Godex light as well. But like, you know, for me to get the Godex light and then I got to set up this freaking like light dome there. It's like one of those things that becomes so intrusive that mm-hmm. I was like, okay, what, how can I minimize this? And, you know, I have two commercial shoots coming up next week. I'm going to bring my aperture. I'm going to bring that dome. But, you know, the client's paying $2,000. So like I'm going to, I'm going to match that to the kind of production that I'm doing. But if I'm going to try to do a shoot and last in an hour and a half, two hours, 
I don't want to carry all this big shit. I want to be able to have, uh, you know, a kit that's going to be very easy for me to work with. Yeah, and I'm with you on that. I hate, I hate having to carry. I because with the dude that I shadow a lot, like I would have, I would, I, I'm, I was a guy who like bring in the lights, mm -hmm. and I was like, bro, I hate this. This is the lighting was the most annoying part. Not just because it's so big, then you have to set it up, and then deconstructing it afterwards is like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. So if you go check out that COVID nineteen video that I did, I used just those two lights, and like that was it. So like, I want to make it simple. I want to make it fast. I don't want to be intrusive. You know, I want to get in mm -hmm. and out. For sure. I'll definitely be on the lookout for that BTS. Yeah. No doubt. So. For sure. All right, man. Well, can we post it, dude? And uh, best of luck to you. Yeah. Thank you again. All right, man. My pleasure. Yeah.